And so the goal today of this presentation is really just to give you an overview of the EXP side of things, um, how EXP works, kind of a little background on the company, um, some of the benefits um, of EXP, how the commission works, how the rev share works, stock options, all those good things. And then also talking about just why I uh, transitioned over to EXP. Um, after being a broker, an independent broker for many years, I was the broker of record and uh, ran my own you know, company for many years. And we decided to partner with EXP earlier this year and take our whole entire team and brokerage over. And it's, uh, it was definitely a great move and something we wish we would have done a long time ago. So um, let's kick it off, guys. I got a little slide share presentation to share with you guys. And then at the end, we'll do a little bit of question and answer as well, if there's any questions out there. Um, so let me go ahead and pull this up. You guys able to see my screen okay? Awesome, awesome. Um, okay, so let's kick this off, guys. So this is the PRG Real Estate slash EXP slide deck. Um, so just to give you a little background on EXP Realty, uh, they were founded in 2009. Um, in 2010, they celebrated their first uh, year um, of being open um, in 11 different states. Um, they were featured in a couple of different magazines throughout the years. Uh, Glenn Stanford was uh, the founder. He was recognized as one of the top uh, 100 most influential people in real estate back in 2012. Um, the company went public, it looks like, in uh, around 2013 or so. EXP World Holdings became a publicly traded company, which was a big uh, milestone for them. Uh, they launched in Canada in 2014. Um, in 2015 or so, they launched the Agent Equity Program and the Icon Agent Award Program. And then uh, a few years after that, um, they started growing pretty rapidly with the agent count. Um, in 2000, early 2000, I think 18, they had over 10,000 agents. And we joined EXP in 2021 in February. Um, and since that time, they've been into all 50 states. They're in a bunch of different countries. They got the Inman Innovator Award winner for uh, broker owners. And then I think to date, there's a little over 70,000 agents at EXP right now. So some massive, massive growth in that short amount of time from 2009 um, to now over 70,000 agents have joined EXP. As you can see, kind of this little chart here that kind of shows some of the growth there. Um, I remember I was introduced to EXP probably about five years ago by one of my coaches and mentors, uh, Cliff Freeman, when EXP only had maybe 4,000 people or less. And since then, it's, it's been tremendous growth. I think we just passed 71,000 agents. I think I saw that uh, go out on social media the other day, uh, just in that short amount of time. Um, so innovation, guys, is innovation is, is I, I believe, probably one of the reasons why EXP is, is, has made a big name. And you see there's innovation every, everywhere um, from like your standard brick and mortar locations like Blockbuster used to be around back in the day. Um, that got replaced with Netflix. You had things like Circuit City or places where you go shop. That's getting replaced by Amazon. Uh, your traditional real estate brokerages, guys, are now getting play, uh, replaced by things like EXP. Uh, because it's all cloud-based. You no longer need an office um, to run your business out of. And that, that became more real when the pandemic hit. You know, everything's being done on Zoom. Um, everything's paperless. You know, it's been going around for some time. But really, you don't need an office um, to run your business anymore. You know, the way clients interact with you, the way they find you, everything's done online. So EXP has kind of shifted with that and, and led into that um, by becoming a cloud-based brokerage. And there's a lot of benefits to that. We're going to talk about that in a second. Um, so one of the kind of uh, distinct things about EXP is they're one brokerage. So it's not a franchise like a lot of other big brokerages where you have all these franchises in different areas and different market centers and stuff like that. It's basically one brokerage all across the board. Um, and of course, there's, you know, brokers of record for every single state, but that does allow um, a lot of benefits because there's not as many uh, fees and, you know, franchisees being paid out. So like in a typical franchise, you have a lot of overhead because you have all these offices, you have the franchise fees that you have to pay, 
you have desk fees. Um, the network is usually a lot smaller um, depending on, you know, how many franchises that are in that, that network there. There's not, you know, the consistent growth and incentives um, a lot of times that are happening in some of these companies. And we're seeing limited technology and support with kind of your typical, you know, franchise. It's, it's, all, it's inconsistent all across the board. Um, with EXP Realty, it's all, since it's all cloud-based and you, don't, you can work from anywhere basically and work from home, um, they're able to cut back. There's less overhead, so they're able to reinvest that into the company and into the agent. So there's no desk fees or anything like that. Um, because everything's cloud-based, cloud, cloud based, you have training going on all across the board from different states, from different top you know, producing agents. So there's over 50 hours of training every single week. Um, there's real-time support. Um, in the EXP world, you can walk into an office and talk to the broker right there on the spot. Um, there's multiple brokers for each state. Um, there's also international collaboration, um, which means you can, you know, refer business across, you know, to different states, and it's a lot easier to refer since it's within the same brokerage. Um, and there's also the equity opportunity since EXP is a publicly traded company. Um, you can earn stock awards, and then there's also the, the revenue share uh, program that they offer as well. Uh, so the cloud campus environment, right? So I think what we're seeing is, you know, some people are like to work from an office. Some people would rather just, you know, do it from home or just tap into the internet or Zoom wherever they're, where they're, wherever they're at. Um, with the XP, obviously there's no desk fees. Um, there's some teams that run their business with an office. Like we personally have an office for our team, but it's not required, you know, across the board. Um, what happens is like, if you guys have ever been to one of these bigger companies and been into an office, they have these big expensive offices and there's a lot of times there's not a lot of people in there. So um, that those offices are costly. There's big overhead in, in running a big giant office and the company, since they're taking on all these costs, that means they're a, a lot of times not able to you know, invest back into the people. So um, with the XP, since there's no expensive office leases or anything like that, there's no corporate office or anything like that, they can put that back into into the company and give some of that back to the agents. Um, paperless transactions. So all our transactions we do through SkySlope, everything's uploaded online. It's, it's really easy. And then you can get all this instant access to training and support um, through the cloud-based environment. Um, the live training, like I said, there's over 50 hours of live training. So anything you want to train on whether it's contracts whether it's listings whether it's team stuff i mean there's a training going on pretty much every single day in fact a lot of times we're not even utilizing the training as much as we should be because we do you know some of our own training on our team but if you go into the exp world that you know you have access to once you join exp there's training going on on any single topic that you could think of um, there's also like an online Facebook group that you can go on and talk to people from, you know, your state or from different states who are in EXP. So there's a lot of information being shared, um, you know, between industry experts and top producers, uh, from sales, from listings, from lead generation, social media, um, CRM and technology tools, all of that stuff is happening. There's also a lot of recorded sessions as well. So, um, I know, you know, for some agents that I've talked to coming from other brokerages, a lot of time, the training is something that they feel they're not getting. Um, with here, there's an abundance of training. Uh, what's cool about the EXP world, I don't know if any of you guys have seen this, but it's almost like a virtual world, a sim, like a sim world where you can walk in and you have this little avatar. Um, you can literally hop into classrooms and see training. You can go up to like the broker office and talk to the broker there um, and get some like on the spot questions answered, things of that sort. Um, they have agent services for your transactions and stuff like that, that you can talk to anytime. And there's pretty much someone available um, at any single time. So there's a lot of support on the back end um, there internally through EXP. Kenny just posted in the chat that the um, EXP pays the top icon agents to teach these classes. So um, when you achieve certain milestones within EXP based off your production, you can become what's called an icon agent. And if you're an icon agent, you can actually teach classes because they promote, they want to promote um, 
education and growth and eXp will pay you and give you some of your, your eXp cap back for you contributing back to the company. So it's, it's actually really cool where if you're someone who's a top leader and you have education and knowledge to share, you can actually get paid back from eXp to teach other people. Um, international collaboration, like I said, eXp is in every single state. Um, I think, I'm not sure how many countries now, but I remember seeing something like 14 or 15 countries. They're probably in more now. But essentially, there's this whole referral network happening every single day. And I personally um, have benefited from that. I've had people reach out to me from other states and send me referrals for listings, for buyers. Um, I just recently sent out a referral to someone in Texas for one of my good friends who bought a house out there. And it was super easy. I was able to vet them, found them through our EXP network, and they were able to help my friends buy a property in Texas. Um, it also allows you to build teams across different states um, and still keep like the same uh, cap and commission structure because EXP is everywhere. So let's say you wanted to expand in different areas or different states, you can do that through EXP because it's one, uh, one brokerage. Um, you know, so I, I think that it, it's really powerful because you're able to share information. You're able to get, you know, other top leaders to share stuff with you. You're able to collaborate with people. Um, it's super easy through, through the EXP channel there. I'm going to see if Kenny wants to jump in in a second, um, since he's our guest here on the call, if he wants to talk about some of the revenue share and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Um, so, I mean, you see there's a couple of different ways to earn money. The most notable ones are um, keeping more money in your pocket with the 16 grand cap. Um, in the, uh, the ICON program that Enrique referred to earlier, once you do, in most market, once you do about like 23 transactions, um, you become an ICON agent and then you get eight grand back in using stocks. But you have the opportunity to earn $4,000, additional $4,000 back in stocks if you attend EXP. Con. Um, you can either go to the Vegas where they normally have the event or go online. Um, and then the, the third, third part of it, <clears throat> the remaining four grand, you can teach uh, up to 10 classes in ECP and they'll reward back. So someone like myself, that's an icon agent, you know, the most money I pay ECP is 16 grand, but I've gotten back on stock. So essentially I'm paying the company zero. And in fact, helping other, um, other agents will have, uh, give me the opportunity to earn more money. So some of the things on this list uh, is the stock options. Uh, when you bring an agent on, um, or yourself, when you do a deal, you, you get uh, really $400 in stock. When you bring an agent on, uh, you also get a stock when they come on. So just other ways to make money. And then um, the agent equity program is great. Um, you can automatically put away 5% of all your commission on every check to buy the company's stock at the average price of the last month at 10% discount. Um, stocks aren't doing so well right now, but in the last, uh, two years, I've accumulated, um, picked up over like, I think right now it's falling around 300 grand. At one point, it was close to 500 grand uh, in stocks. So it's really great for if you're thinking of a kind of retirement plan. I don't think any other company out there is really trying to build wealth and uh, retirement like, uh, like ESP has. Yeah, and that's a great point, um, Kenny, because what we got to think about, right, as business people and entrepreneurs is a lot of times we're only focused on just selling homes, right? Which that that's our bread and butter. We're going to sell homes and service clients. But at the same time, how do you start building other income and how do you create other opportunities while you're already out there, you know, doing what you do best of, of helping people? So um, that's something that I've never had before. That's something me being an independent broker. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. Um, I wasn't able to offer that to my agents, but um, now that we've joined EXP, we have access to all this, right? So we get to get stock awards. You know, I've, I've gotten a bunch of stock just, you know, from having people sign on when they close their first deal. Um, like Kenny was saying, we get to contribute 5% of our checks. So you're slowly building up this other bucket, um, you know, of, of savings and, and stuff like that. And it's like a retirement account. So it's, it's been huge for us. Um, that's something we didn't have before. Let's see. Um, so the agent voice in the company, the agent advisory council. Um, I don't know too much about this, to be honest. I don't know if Jeremy or, or Kenny can speak on this, but 
um, it looks like they're able to nominate people um, each year and, and those people are able to kind of have a voice for the agents in the company and, and the, the company decisions. Uh, Kenny or Jeremy, can you elaborate on any of this? Yeah, I can jump in uh, real quick. Hey, everybody, Jeremy Larson here. Nice to meet you. And uh, thank you for taking the time to explore eXp with us. Um, after we get through this spread, I'm sure everybody hates uh, slideshows and spreadsheets, but it is a lot of important information to build some con context for you. And then we can go over some of the more exciting stuff um, that goes on here, in particular with the eXp group that Kenny, myself, and Enrique are all a part of. Um, the Agent Advisory Council basically is a board of agents that are nominated. And when the company makes decisions or uh, wants to move in different directions, they consult with that board to help them make those decisions so they can keep the agents front and center um, in the decision making process. There we go, guys. Um, and we'll get we'll get into the more exciting stuff in a bit. Um, the revenue share plan, uh, guys, this is, you know, a lot of people have heard about revenue share. Um, maybe Jeremy, I mean, you're an expert on this, man, if you want to touch on the revenue share and how it works. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the revenue share plan, it's, it's really simple, right? Um, first and foremost, um, it's not a pyramid scheme. I used to think it was when I first heard about EXP, like it's a pyramid scheme or something like that, but it's not. A pyramid scheme is when everybody has to pay up front. Very simply put, the revenue share plan means that whenever you bring somebody over to eXp, you get a small referral for the life of the time that they're over here. Okay, so um, that's simply put, that's what the revenue share is. It is a completely different model than profit sharing, um, which Keller Williams offers. Uh, revenue share, it's a set amount um, and it's already pre-calculated. And again, it's just a small amount. Here's a spreadsheet. We can go into this at, a, at another time if you have questions on it. Um, but you get a small referral. Uh, the max you're going to make is, I think it's 2,400 basically um, off an agent a year um, that you introduce the EXP opportunity with or that uh, you sponsor. And I think the big question also is where is this coming from, right? This is coming from the revenue of the company. So what the yeah. company makes, they're sharing. Yeah, if you um, if you can go back to that that uh, that brick and mortar blockbuster slide real quick, and and let me kind of start with that. Um, I didn't know this; somebody taught me this. But how most brokers are set up is they do have levels, right? So if we take company um, ABC and they're a tra traditional brokerage, a hundred percent of their revenue comes from us agents. Okay, so 100% of all brokerages, their revenue is coming from us, from the agents. And so when you take ABC company um, and leave it on this screen, please, um, what's going to happen is that agent does a sale and a piece of that sale gets paid to the marketing manager, the marketing center, or the franchise manager. Then it gets paid to the regional manager, then the national manager, and then the investors, uh, it could be international investors if it's Compass. And then finally, some goes to, to ownership. And so there's all these levels that exist. And so what EXP did is similar to what Netflix did and Amazon did is they said, hey, look, this is silly right now with the internet and all the walls being broken down for, for consumers. We don't need all these levels to be paid out. And so we're going to take away the franchise. Uh, we're going to take away the national. And we're going to go straight to ownership. And so that's why they're able to offer such an aggressive commission. That's why we can cap out and get 100% of our commission um, after we do, it's about $3.1 million in transactions. You cap out if you're a solo agent. And so the split is an 80-20 split. Once that 20 equals 16,000, then you get 100%, okay? And so that 16,000, half of that goes to the company because after you look at EXP, you're going to wonder like, how is the company even making money, right? And so half of that 8,000 goes to the company. The other half um, goes towards the revenue share, which we just talked about, um, which is what I call the lifetime referrals you get. And so that's how um, the company gets paid. That's how the revenue share gets paid. And so although I have an office, I have two offices um, for my teams, um, Kenny, has multiple offices, Enrique has an office, we're happy to pay for those offices because we're making so much more money with eXp. 
but um, EXP does not pay for offices. And so they took the two biggest expenses that company ABC would have, um, which is all these levels of management and supervisors and the brick and mortar offices, and they wiped that free and clear. And so as we explore- yeah, For some uh, of you bigger, bigger producers, right? Like you're, you're paying, you know, 50, 70, 100, 200 grand to your company, like I did at my previous brokerage with Realty. You know, imagine what would you do with that money that you save? Would you be able to hire admin, marketing staff, you know, open offices and do other things, um, increase your farm with that same money? And if your broker owner, sales manager, um, those people weren't directly really supporting you and your growth, you know, where can you reallocate those funds to really, really take your business to the next level? Yeah, and as we explore EXP, everybody, there's really two things that you're going to want to understand. Um, number one is you're going to want to understand the model, which we're talking about. And then number two, you're going to want to understand what is really the secret sauce of EXP um, is the power of alignment, uh, which is who you align yourself with, because you can really align yourself with, with any of the different groups um, that exist. Um, but when you can align yourself with uh, a strategic decision with the right group, which we all have done, it's the highest producing group within the entire organization, let alone Northern California. Um, it's a complete game changer because you get to collaborate um, with all these agents and team operators, have access to all their listing agreements, their buyer consultations, all their playbooks. And as a matter of fact, uh, we do a mastermind every Monday uh, from 10 to 11 and Enrique can give you the invitation for that if you'd like to check it out um, next Monday as well. And that's really the segue, guys, into the second half of this conversation. We wanted to kind of go through the formality of kind of the slideshow, um, but the exciting part is really why, why we joined eXp, why I made the move. Uh, um, you know, I was an independent broker for many years. You know, I'm going on over 18 years in the business. I was uh, broker owner for almost 10 years. And we decided to take our, our brokerage over to the EXP platform. That was a big move for us guys, because this was our, our brokerage, our baby, my business partner, Jason's on here, uh, something that we've built. So, you know, taking our business to this, you know, EXP platform, there was a lot of fear that we had, you know, like, Hey, are we giving up control over our brand? Are we giving up, you know, control of how, how we do business? And, Really, that wasn't the case at all, which kind of leads to why we joined. And it's really what Jeremy is talking about. This is probably the number one reason why we made the switch over. And it's because of the alignment with our growth partners. So um, in our upline, in our alignment, why we have the fast forward movement, which is like the biggest group that Jeremy's talking about here of, of producers in the entire company and, and probably in California, definitely. And that's led by Daniel Beer. I think they're doing over 600 plus million. Kyle Whistle's team over 500 million easily. Um, so we have direct access to these people. So above me is, is Jeremy, Kenny. Uh, Kenny's team, uh, team's doing over 650 million this year. Uh, Jeremy hit over 200 million. Our team's doing over 180 million. We are literally in, a, in alignment with these guys. So um, if I need anything, I can call Kenny, I can call Jeremy, I can call Daniel, I can call Kyle. And these guys are going to give me all the answers to how they're doing it, how they're running their business. Here's their playbook. Do you need that PDF? Do you need that presentation? Like things, the information is being passed that easily. Um, I know there's been many times when I've been stuck on a certain situation with, with our business or with managing our team that I'll pick up the phone and call Jeremy and he'll coach me through it because he has uh, an incentive to help me out because the more I grow, since I'm in alignment with him, the more that he grows, the more people that we bring onto our organization and the more agents we're able to help, you know, grow their business, we all win together. And that was the biggest move for us. And that was probably the biggest reason I, I, I moved over my brokerage because I didn't have that before being, a, you know, an independent brokerage or just being a solo agent. You know, a lot of times you're trying to figure out things on your own or you either got to go outside of your business and go hire a coach uh, and things of that sort to kind of figure things, or you got to join a team or something, someone who's doing things at a high level. Um, in this case, you have all of these people who basically have uh, a vested interest in your success that are just willing to share everything with you. 
Um, on Mondays, we have our weekly mastermind. I think we've been having over 300 agents every Monday um, jump on this mastermind on Zoom. And there's just some fire, fire information. Like they're sharing so much valuable things. There's people just bringing their questions they're, that are when they're stuck in their business. And someone who's doing that at a high level is answering it right there on the spot. Um, there's a Wednesday event, right, for more higher level producers, 50 million plus producers, um, where it's higher level coaching and stuff that's being offered. And then all the local events as well. Um, I mean, the quarterly events and different events where we all get together in person and stuff like that. Um, Jeremy, I don't know if, if, or Kenny, if you guys can speak to this as well, kind of what your experience has been since you guys have joined EXP and how you're leveraging the group. Yeah, I mean, for me, I came over um, as a solo agent at the time in 2018. I had nine million uh, in production and sales. I uh, was in Tom Ferry coaching at the time. Um, and my first year at EXP, I did 30 million as a solo agent. So I, I tripled the amount of transactions that I did. Um, and then my second year, I, I started building the team. I did 100 million my second year. Um, ended the year with a team of about 14. And then this last year we ended, we did 200 million um, and have a team now of about 30 agents. And so two things happened in that process. I mean, number one, I was ready to learn. I was ready to implement. Um, so I took action. Uh, but number two, I tapped into our group and um, I would never uh, put my name on like a mastermind if I didn't think it was amazing. Um, our Monday mastermind is the best. I feel it's the best in the industry. And I'm a certified mentor with the Beanie Company. I've been in Tom Ferry coaching. I'm in John Cheplak coaching right now. And I can tell you, like, there's no like hype or agenda. It is just full on collaboration, hammering out issues, figuring out how to build our businesses and grow our businesses and sharing what's working. And so for me, being able to align with this group took the whole trial and error out of my business. I no longer had to guess or search. I had a direct blueprint plan from multiple team operators and top agents throughout the country um, in my hands. And all I had to do was just take my part and, and follow that blueprint. And so that's been my experience. And that's exactly why I came to our group. It's why I'm so passionate and confident when I speak about our group is because of the results that I've experienced as well as hundreds of others within our organization. Um, and Kenny has been uh, somewhat of a similar uh, situation. I'll let Kenny jump in here and share. When Kenny came over, I think it, it was 60 million um, is what you did, Kenny, the year before you came over, right? Yeah, I'm, in, I'm actually sure. looking, at, uh, looking at office space right now. Um, yeah, I came over to EC two Januarys ago with a team of um, 10. We did $56 million. And then last last year, first year EC, we wrapped up the year about $127 million with um, like 84 agents on the team. And we just finished last year with $673 million of production with about 224 agents on team. And our sales goal this year is $2 billion. Man, it's, it's, it's been crazy, really, really crazy. And now we have seven retail offices. I'm looking at phone now, Scripps office right now. I want to agree, but one thing that's like with EXP, with the agents you align with and kind of learn from, they kind of take all the hurdles out the way, like things you, you would normally run into, problems and problem solve them. They kind of give you some ideas of what could happen and, and how to grow. You know, so I picked up a lot that from Kyle Whistle and, and Daniel Barrel on the way and with the EC model, without the sales manager and the owner and the operator and the branding and corporate and all this other BS, you know, you can grow the way you want to grow. So, you know, like by April, I'll have like nine or 10 offices and I didn't have to double check with my managers if I can do something. I don't have to check with them. I can do events and cool stuff. So we, we've been able to kind of grow our own brand here at EC. And we came, you know, we, we, within two years, we became the number two team in, in the company working alongside with like the smartest people in the business, I think. And everyone has a financial interest in helping me do more business, you know, because they get paid. So like, it's just a win-win for everyone. Yeah. I mean, my, my experience in real estate, as far as like, cut off, I got a big thing here. Oh, I think we lost him. Um, <laughs> my experience 
you know, has been in order to really grow or become more, I've got to put myself in an environment, in a room or in a group where I'm not the smartest person. Right. And it's, it's been the, the, the best way for me to consume information and it's been the best way for me to implement it. And so it's just like, if I'm an athlete and, you know, whether it's basketball or golf or whatever, when I start playing with people that are better than me, that is going to inspire me to be better. I'm going to want to know what they're doing and how they're doing it. And it's going to be more relatable and easier for me to implement if I'm around somebody that's doing it. And so that's what I have found in our group. And that's what I love about our mastermind group. Yeah. And I can attest to that too, man. I mean, since right before joining EXP, we finished off, I think, uh, 2020 with about 55 million in volume and we're finishing off, you know, 2021 with over 180 million in volume. So our, our volume, our agent count, the amount of impact that we've been able to make on our agents has grown. And a lot of that is, is directly attributed to me being in a room with people who are doing things much, much bigger than me. Um, you know, these coaching calls that we're on and you talk to agents who are doing, you know, 400, 500, 600 deals a year with their teams, or even solo agents who are doing 50, 60, 70 deals on their own. You're able to learn so much from these guys. Um, not only are you able to learn that and apply that stuff, but it really pushes you, right? Cause the bar is, is set higher. If you're the top dog in your group, or if there's no one, you know, if, if you're not looking to someone that's doing stuff way bigger than you, you're going to stay where you're at. And I think um, all that information we're learning, all that motivation, all the inspiration, the strategies that, you know, and all that stuff, we're able to now come back and implement that into our team. And that's why our team has grown so fast and it's going to continue to grow. So uh, in the short time that I've been with EXP, I've seen so much, so much there. And um, Jeremy, what, I mean, we probably got a mix of agents. I mean, I'm sure there's some yeah. agents that are just getting started in the business on this call. Um, yeah. There's probably some agents who have been in the business for a while. Maybe let's address kind of like how it's could benefit them at different stages where they're at. Yeah, let's do it. Um, does anybody have any, any questions or anything they want to ask? Jeremy, if you can kind of touch on, I mean, like Enrique and I were an independent broker, right? So right. that when we're trying to build our team, we were looking to see how we can also benefit our agents that we're bringing on, right? So maybe we can kind of just touch on the benefits of us moving from an independent broker. Now that we are with EXP, we can have our agents and if they attract more agents, they can also benefit from that, from either the stocks or from also the, the rev share, right? Yeah. So if you're talking about from a, from a team perspective, or do you want to talk about from an indie perspective of being independent? Yeah, we, we can do both. Do both. So from a, from a team perspective, um, you know, I, if, if you're on that team or if you're that team operator, uh, for the agents on your team, now they start to participate, they get to participate in the stock program. So now they're actually getting some ownership in the company that they're a part of. It happens to be the fastest growing company um, in the history of our industry. Um, but getting that stock is a great thing. Um, and so the stock program, we get to purchase stock at 10% off. And then we have, there's various programs um, where we get awarded stock for production as well. Um, and we can send you those links with that information. And so there's a stock program uh, that uh, agents on the team um, get to participate in. They also get to participate in the mastermind. So they get to feel like they're a part of something that's just bigger than the, than the team that they're in. And um, what I found is agents on my team, they really value that. They really like their EXP family. They like knowing that they're a part of something that's a lot bigger than, than just being on that local team and, and the local market, okay? Um, and then of course, there's a revenue share model too. They have um, the opportunity to um, refer any agents um, to the team and they can sponsor those agents. And therefore, both the team uh, leader and the agent on that team will get to get that revenue share from the agent that comes into the team. And so if you're a team leader, I'm not sure if we have any team leaders on here, uh, but if you're a team leader, it's great for recruiting. Um, it'll, it'll have your team excited to have those conversations. Now, as far as independent, I was independent as well. Um, we have a lot of independent brokers that come over to EXP. 
Um, and so it's no surprise, you know, Jason and Enrique, um, you know, that you guys saw it. Um, two reasons why I think number one, a lot of independent um, brokers are entrepreneurs and they have an entrepreneur mind. And as an entrepreneur, it's important that you keep an open mind to what else is out there, right? And I know Enrique and Jason are great examples of this. They're always looking for what's the next thing to implement or how do they grow or what's best to help their team or, or help them grow personally or with their business. And so entrepreneurs, we're always open-minded to what else is out there. We keep that student mindset. We know that we don't know everything on our own. And so the other thing is that when you're independent, you carry all the liability and being a broker right now in California is not where it's at. It's not what you want to be doing. A broker in California right now, you're a part-time attorney, part-time, you know, part-time um, accountant, and everything falls on you if something happens or when something happens. And so with the aggressive uh, commission schedule that EXP has for us, it's sixteen thousand dollars to cap out. You don't have to be a broker, and if you can do twenty transactions after you cap out, you get that sixteen thousand back in stock, and that's what's called an icon agent at EXP. It's called the Icon Award, and so once you cap out, which means your twenty percent has equaled sixteen thousand, then if you can do twenty more transactions, you get that sixteen thousand back in stock. And then if you bring a couple of people over to EXP, then essentially you're being paid at that point to hang your license um, at EXP. And humbly speaking, that's exactly the position that myself is in, Enrique and Jason are in at that point is where we're literally getting paid to hang our license here now at this point. Yeah, that's awesome, man. And I thanks for, for sharing that. Um, and it's just a matter, of, we like to look at it as like having another tool on your tool belt, right? Like before the only tool that we had was go help people buy and sell homes. Now we have these other revenue streams where we can earn stock, we can earn revenue share. And essentially you're, you're adding more to your arsenal there. Um, and that's really the, the entrepreneur spirit, right? Where we're looking for other ways to create revenue. So it's not just relying on just only your efforts, but now as you bring people in, as people produce, you're earning money from these other avenues. So I think that was, that was a huge one for us. Um, and it's something that we're already seeing people on our team. There's a few people on our team on this call who are benefiting from that, who have already gotten stock awards, who are already earning revenue share because they've invited agents over. So we're seeing that play out right now. Um, from, the bro from the indie broker's perspective, I know for us being an independent broker, I was paying probably 11 or 12 grand a year just for E&O insurance, you know, and immediately by switching over the EXP, I'm only paying 500 bucks max per year. Um, so I just saved, the, I saved a bunch of money just by doing that. Uh, just from the e, just for that simple cost of E&O insurance, you know, that's being an independent broker. There's a lot of fees and things that go on in the background that people aren't really aware of. Yeah. Um, any other questions, guys? We're coming to the conclusion kind of of this presentation, but if there's any questions, let's get them knocked out. Um, Jeremy has built a, a massive business. Not only that, his organization, I think you just hit over 500 people in your organization, right, Jeremy? Yeah, we hit 550 today. 550 people in his organization that he hit today. Um, for some of you guys that don't really know what that means, I mean, this is a huge, huge milestone. Um, I don't know, Jeremy, if you want to talk about that. Yeah, so that that's my... Um... That's my EXP business. So I, I have two businesses, my real estate business with my real estate teams, and then I have my EXP business, right? Um, which is um, just having these conversations, talking about EXP and seeing if it's a good fit. For some people, it's not a good fit. Um, for most, it's a, it's, it's a great fit. And so um, I've been fortunate enough um, to bring on some incredibly talented teams um, and agents um, and today we just, as a matter of fact, had a 40 person independent brokerage over in Virginia convert over. And so that's what bumped me to that, to that number today. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, what's up with that. Um, you know, look, um, most people at EXP don't recruit. So I don't want anybody here to feel that pressure. Like, oh, now I got to go recruit and talk to agents that that's not the case. We only think you should make a move if it's going to help your business. And so, you know, for me, I know that the only way I'm going to grow is again, what I said earlier, is I have to put myself in that room. 
I have to put myself in that room where I'm not the top dog. I'm not the smartest person. I want to be the dumbest person in the room. That's how I'm going to learn the most. And having that mastermind that we have and having access, unparalleled access that I can't find anywhere else. So having this access, you can pay some of these people to coach you or consult you, but having that access through our mastermind um, is giving me all the tools and resources and so if you're somewhere where they've got an amazing plan in place for you to grow and you have unparalleled access to the top achievers, uh, top agents in that office, and you're in a great, you're in a great spot, that's a great place to be. But what we have found is that most brokers, um, I mean, look, if I'm at ABC brokerage, everybody there wants to see Jeremy be successful and they wish me well. Uh, because they're nice human beings, right? They don't want to see me go through any pain. Um, but over at EXP, everybody wants to see me well for a couple of reasons. Number one, they're nice, just like ABC. But number two, we all have stock in the company. We all have ownership in the company. Number three, the revenue share. Okay, so if you're getting a tiny little piece off what I do, you're going to want to invest in me and share, and we're going to want to give you everything that we have. What's mine is yours. You get it all. We want to help you build and grow. And then the last reason on top of that is the story that that creates. That story, you know, if uh, I'm just going to call out names, if I can, if I can take Anna or Herveen or Emmanuel or Mauricio and or Mitch or Thomas and help them double their business this year, that story is more valuable than anything else that's going to come out of it. Because now I can share that story, they can share that story, and other agents are going to want to know about this type of level of collaboration that you're experiencing. And so there's just a lot more emotional investment in others to want to see you build and grow your business than a traditional brokerage model. So we've got about 14 uh, minutes left. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Enrique. No, and that's, that is exactly the number one reason why, you know, I, I moved over. And we were already doing, you know, okay. And we could have easily stayed independent and just stuck, stuck with our brokerage. But if I'm thinking future and I'm thinking of how do I grow, how do I go to the next level? How do I take my business to the next level? How do I impact all the agents on my team? You know, it's, it's, it only made sense once I started really peeling back the layers and finding out, you know, what EXP was all about and what the collaboration was all about. Cause I think there's a lot of misconceptions out there about EXP. People just think, Oh, you just got to recruit people. And in fact, that's, that's not what it is at all. You don't even have to recruit people if you don't want to. Um, there's a benefit in doing that, right? But it, but there's many people who aren't really recruiting, but are simply taking advantage of all the information and all the masterminding and applying that to their business and growing their business two, three times or more. Um, so you could just do that, and, and it's already a great move. Yeah, Any you know, questions, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't I don't come over here thinking you're going to get rich on stock or recruiting. Um, you, you you make a move to help build your business. Your business is number one. We want to help you build your business. That's what our group is about. That's why we're over here. The recruiting thing was never was not my focus when I came over. I just happened to start sharing my story and talking to people, and it snowballed. But you don't come over here for thinking you're going to get rich off recruiting or stock. You come here to grow your business. We want to help you build and grow your business. And so having said that, um, I want to see if there's any questions. Um, and if there's not, are there any questions, any comments anybody has? Well, let's uh, to unmute. unmute or put in the chat. If there's any questions and we can answer them. I have a question. Um, Jeremy, you had mentioned that um, when you joined EXP, you said you're around like 9 million in production. Yeah. And then yeah. you shot up to what, 56? Uh, 30. 30? My, my, my first year, I just, just focused on being a solo agent. That was in 2019. And so I did 30 million. So how did you, how, what was the switch? I know you joined EXP, but what specifically yeah. was the switch to triple? Yeah, man, I wish it was like one, I wish it was like an one little thing to tell you to do that you're not doing and you could go do it right now and that would do it. Um, but it was probably about, you know, it was probably about three, three things that I, that I just really kind of took action on. 
Uh, I mean, one of them was just being around other successful agents and knowing that I could jump on a phone call or a Zoom and have them look at my business and poke holes in it and see what I wasn't doing. And so I learned how to follow up a lot better. I got some really good dialogue and scripts to use um, that helped me really get better at following up. Um, oh, my business was really built on the backbone of open houses. And so I wasn't doing a lot of social media. Um, I wasn't paying for any leads at that point in time. So I started doing, I started increasing the social media presence. Um, I started being a lot more intentional about my relationships and where my time was spent. Um, and then I did start paying for some online leads, nothing crazy, but I started getting into that game. Um, and just really getting out of my own head and focusing on the process and not the result. And then, and then it just took off. Cool, man. Yes. I was hoping for something that you would tell me that I can plug in. And, and Dude, I, I know. I wish there was some like secret app or website that I could tell you guys about to go sign up for <laughs> and get all these amazing referrals. Um, but, but it's good to hear from you at the level that you're at. It's all just about consistency, getting out of your own head and kind of just doing the doing the things that that produce right so yeah 100 100 100%, 100%. like i mean i could tell you what we're working on, like exactly what our what we're working on right now and so we did 200 million last year we have a uh, team in santa cruz with about 24 22 agents and about 10 in monterey and so there's a lot of room for us to grow and expand in monterey county so we're probably going to triple the size of that team um, but we're going to focus on, um, we hired an inside sales agent, an ISA. And so um, she's going to be available to jump on any uh, sign calls, uh, Google leads. We're going to do a lot more advertising on PPC with Google. Um, we've signed up with all the referral sites, right? Like all of them, there's like 10 of them. Um, and she's going to be able to jump on all those, any of that, that comes in. So it's really just casting this wide net to capture leads. And she's going to be the one that's going to be involved and reach out to those. And once they're ready to go see a home, then she's going to reach out and schedule them to go see a home with an agent. So building out that department, um, is a focus right now. Uh, another thing, um, that we're focusing on, um, in addition to that is just the skill set we're going to be doing. I, I, again, you've heard all this stuff, but role playing, um, we really want to do a lot more role playing and sharpen, um, just sharpen the swords on our team, because I think the market's going to get a little tougher for everybody. And I think if you're not prepared for that, and if you don't have the confidence and the dialogue to communicate with people, it's going to get tougher for you in the future. And so we're going to do a lot more um, role playing, like really good, sharp role playing to build up everybody's confidence and, and their reach outs. So, I mean, those are our top two things that we're working on right now. Um, our goal is to hit 300 million this year. So we're looking to add 100 million um, in production this year. And I don't see any reason why we can't do that. Awesome. Good luck with that. Appreciate the answer. Yeah. Thank you, man. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Any other questions, guys? Any questions from the from the audience? Anybody want to put anything in the chat? Uh, we don't get to have yeah, Jeremy. Yeah. On, is there uh, anything that anybody's talking. anything that anybody's working on um, that we can talk about, or that you that we can kick around and see if we can help you? I'm I'm interested to to hear your input because I think a lot of the agents on here are on our are on, on our team, so we kind of collaborate. Okay. We have the same ideas, but. I'm not sure where you're at with with um, the volume of leads that you get or where, where they're coming from. Uh, a lot of yeah. my business right now is online leads. And awesome. I feel like right now, it's just a lot for me to handle. You know, we have systems in place where we can leverage each other and collaborate. It's a very collaborative, you know, environment where uh, yeah. at our brokerage. But any tips that you can can help me to like I guess what I'm looking for is that one thing, right? But I know it's not yeah. that one thing to it's, do. It's not that one thing. It's yeah. the, the one thing is your mindset. And so you're talking to that, you're getting, um, are you getting like a, a lot of leads? A good amount of leads, maybe around like five to six leads a week. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And so, I mean, look, man, five to six leads a week, you should be a top performing agent if, if that trend continues. Mm -hmm. Um. 
you and we can have a call offline we got to look at what you're doing each day like what time are you waking up when does your day start what does your lunch break look like what are you doing man if you're getting five to six leads a week like you should be eating your lunch in your car because you're showing homes you know what i mean like you shouldn't be out having like an hour and a half lunch at a cheesecake factory like you're hustling you are on your game and if you talk to any of the like top producing agents like i don't know if you guys know who tim allen is He's in freaking Pebble Beach and he's like, he's like, he's the man. He's number one, I think, in the country for Coldwell Banker. And I never forget, dude, I called him about a house and he's like, oh, I'm having lunch. And then I heard his blinker come on. I go, are you, are you driving? He goes, yeah, man. He goes, I, I, I'm eat, I pack a sandwich. I'm eating a tuna sandwich in my car right now. And this guy's a multimillionaire. Yeah. And I was like, wow. You know, like that, that that really resonated with me like that. That's what it is, you know? And so, um, number one, you're in a blessed place to be right now, to be receiving that. And you got to capitalize on it. Like you got to go hard on that. Do not let someone fall through the cracks. Right. You got to stay in touch with them. Um, how many sales did you do in the last three months? Last three months, I'd say maybe around, I'd say conservative, maybe around like six Okay. Six. That's good. And so, you know, in, in our area, like in the Bay area and where we're at, I mean, one agent, this is just me. I don't think you can do more than 30 deals without like losing your brain. Right. It's just what it is. And I know it's weird in Michigan, there's agents that'll do like 50. Um, but you can't do more than 30 here. And I think once you get to 30, then you have to start looking at either an assistant or a showing agent. And so what we're doing is, uh, oh, this is a third thing I wanted to mention earlier, is we're hiring a showing agent. And that showing agent is going to get 8%. So you would, as an agent, would make 8% less that comes out of the agent's pay, but that showing agent gets paid 8% when a deal closes. Mm -hmm. okay? And so I think, you know, Emmanuel, when, when you're doing 20, 25 deals a year, and we want to get you to doing 40 or 50 a year, which, which sounds kind of crazy for agents, but it's not. Me and Enrique know somebody who did 96 sales last year on a team and he had a showing agent. And so imagine a showing agent, right? They're going to go to your home inspection, your pest inspection. They're going to schedule the showing. They're going to go to the appraisal. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They get 8%. Is that an agent? Is that person an agent or kind of just like an assistant? They're, they're, that would be a, um, an agent because they need to open up the lock boxes. Mm -hmm. And that's their role. They can't take any team leads or nothing. And so we're going to hire one in Santa Cruz. And for our Monterey team, they're going to start working just with our top two performers. And then um, they're only going to be able to work with the agents that do 20 plus deals a year. I'm curious because I've never done it, but just, you know, just off of theory and what, what I think is how do you keep that person incentivized to stay in the position that they're at? Because they're getting 8% off of, you know, my cut when they can be getting 2.5% for the sale since they're licensed. Right? Easy. So. Easy. I mean, if they're, if they're getting, a, if, if you're doing 40 transactions mm -hmm. and they're getting 8% and then they're helping somebody else who's doing 30 and they're getting a piece of all that, it adds up. Mm -hmm. you know? And so it's for yeah. somebody who, it's for somebody who hates negotiating. They hate following up. Mm -hmm. They hate calling people, but they love real estate. Mm -hmm. And we all know plenty of them. They love real estate, they love showing <laughs> homes. They love real estate shows. They love meeting people. They love that. You know, they love the rainbows and the unicorns. Like they love the easy part of our job. And so that's a perfect person. That's who, that's who it's for. There's tons of them out there. Trust me, a brand new agent, their first year doing that, they'll be amazing if they can do that for 12 months. Yeah. You know, and then they will update you after every showing. You could let them go into your CRM and they can update the notes on what the, what was said after that showing. They're going to ask your clients, say on a scale of one to 10, what would you rate this place? Anything that's over a seven, we're writing up an offer. Got it. Yeah. And I think the big takeaway, Jeremy, is just is the mindset, right? Like if you the already think that's not going to work or someone wouldn't want to do that. Right? Dude, we, we have on our team, we have we have my number one agent in Santa Cruz. You've met her, Katie. She's brand new. My number two last year was is his first full year. And I have people that have been agents for over 10 years. And so it's it's 
it is mindset. It's a whole different game right now. And so the industry rewards you for being bold and, and going after it. And, um, you know, when you're on a team and you're getting leads, it's a whole different game. It's a whole nother opportunity. You've really got to go after it because the more deals you do as a team member, you're going to have a lifetime of referrals and repeat business four or five years from now. It's going to be crazy. All the other agents will be looking at you saying, how the heck did you do that? Where'd you get all these listings? It's all going to come. You know, any, any agent who gets a lot of listings, it's because they helped a lot of buyers. Mm -hmm. When people sell their homes, they, they go with their, pat, their previous agent or they go with a referral, period. It is so hard to get an organic listing lead, right, Enrique? I mean, we're trying all the time. Yeah. <laughs> They're out there, Super hard. But, but it's hard, right? And so you've just, um, you got to imagine what your future is going to be like, Emmanuel, uh, you know, after two or three years on this team, you're going to have incredible, an incredible pipeline of referrals and listings coming your way. And it seems like you just got to hustle more. I got to stop going to Cheesecake Factory. I think you saw me there a couple times, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you just you got to think about what you want to get done in that day. Uh, it's that mindset. Celebrate the wins, you know. Um, fall in love with the process, not the result. Cool. All those things, you know, they they really do work. They're the key. They are the true key, timeless keys to success. I agree. Yeah, appreciate it. Any other questions, guys? We're, one more question, and then we're gonna we're gonna wrap up. We're at three o'clock right now. I want to respect everyone's time. Anybody else, anything you're working on that we can mastermind on or work through? Referrals, um, events, you guys reach out to your people. We, uh, every quarter we reach out to our database. Um, be conscious about who your top 12 are, your top 12 relationships that can send you referrals. Um, some of the most important people to my business, they will never buy a home. They can't afford to buy a home here. They're never buying a home. But if they come across a family member, a friend or a neighbor looking to buy or sell, they're going to stop them in their track and be like, oh my gosh, you have to call Catherine. My friend, Catherine, she's a great agent. You have to call her. She's, she's the best. You have to call her. Okay. And so what would your business look like if you had 12 people that did that or 16 or 20 people, right? Like, that is huge, right? There's so much value in those relationships and those referrals. So um, it's one of the most untapped resources in our industry. So be intentional with your relationships and, and get those 12 raving fans. And those of us that have kids, we have a huge advantage because you can meet all the other kids' parents and go to the kids' parties and do the school drop-off. And, and all that stuff. Like me personally, I can't pick up my kids from school without getting asked about real estate by like four people, but I've worked my tail off to create those relationships, you know? And so you want to be intentional about those relationships and let people know you're a realtor and stay in touch with them. And then let them know, oh, by the way, I, I'm never too busy to help you out or your referrals. If you come across anybody looking to buy or sell, I'd love to help them out. Here we go. There's no magic pill, right? You got to build them one at a time. Go yeah. have some kids. Go have some kids. Start dropping them off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is All good. Right, guys. Uh, uh, thanks, Jeremy. Appreciate it. Yeah. Anytime. Happy to get on. Yep. Uh, what else? Yeah, Jeremy, uh, Who we got here? I see two Enriques uh, down here with the screen blacked out. I think someone's using my uh, my Zoom account. Someone on my team, they're logging on, checking it out. Yeah, they don't know that it says Enrique. <laughs> What's up? All right, guys. Well, uh, in the house. All right. Here we go, Jordan Demetric. Yeah, I just saw Demetric. All right. Well, thank All righty, you guys. guys. Well, this is it. hopefully... Yeah, hopefully you guys got some value today. You got a good understanding of what EXP is all about. And more importantly the collaboration that happens in our group, like this type of coaching, this type of question and answer and stuff like that, this goes down every Monday on our Monday mastermind um, as part of the group that we're in at EXP. And it's, it's just an hour of straight content like that of just getting all your questions answered. And there's people that are making leaps and bounds in their business because of that. So 
Um, you know, like, like Jeremy said, get yourself in the right room. Make sure you're the, the dumbest person in the room because that's how you're going to learn the fastest. That's how you're going to level up. And I know that's what we're doing. So hopefully you guys got some value today. Um, reach back out to the person who invited you today. If, if you got some value out of this and you want to explore this more, we can definitely set up another call offline, uh, a one-on-one -on -one and kind of go into more details of how EXP works and how it can work for your business. And it also talks specifically about your business and maybe some, some issues you're having and, and, and give you some coaching on that too. So I uh, hope you guys got some value. Take it easy, guys. We'll see you next time. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.